Hello everybody, and today we're going to be reading this book called um, Our Friend Hedgehog, The Story of Us. The illustration is taken off. I took it off because it was annoying and it kept falling off and stuff. So I just gotta take it off for now. But it's called. Oh my gosh. It's called. Our Friend Hedgehog, The Story of Us. And it's by Lauren Castillo. And. Oh, brightness. Mm. But yes, yeah, it's called that. Our friend Hedgehog, the story of us. And uh, our friend Hedgehog, the story of us. Okay. Over here is the map. Can you see that? There. Here's the map, and it has. The beavers area right there. Um Anak Maze House Hen and Chicks Marsh Owls Lookout Hedgehog's Island and Moles Hill And that area is pretty good and everything's nice detailed but we're gonna go to the next page. Our friend Hedgehog, the story of us. Okay. By Lauren Custom. The cast. Is right here. I don't think I'm gonna spill the cast yet. You don't want to. No, all the characters and everything. You want to be surprised. All right. Here's the introduction. Good if they put an introduction. Sometimes you make a friend, and it feels like you've known that friend for your whole, for your entire life. Hedgehog, Muddy, Mole, Owl, 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 Beaver, and then Chicks, and me, and Akame. You might think it's always been this way, but it's not. There was a series of events, of events that brought us together. This is our friendship story. This is the story of And there's like a little book here. So here's that first. Let focus. So there's that first. The little island. Between the great forest and the center of the river, a teeny tiny tiny a teeny tiny island lived two dear friends, Hedgehog and Muddy. Just the two of them, and no one else. They spent all of their days together, playing, imagining, dreaming. So they just dream, imagine, play. Times. So you guys see this, but I don't know if it's good to kiss them off. There were moments when the island felt lonely, and the hedgehog wished for more, but most of the time she was happy to be with her friends. Life was good. That was until the night of the terrible storm, a storm that brought the meanest wind hedgehog had ever known. It whistled, it huffed, it swooped down, and carried a friend away. Hello. Hey. 
Hedgehog was all alone. She called out for help for, um, for Muddy again, again and again, but only the mean wind answered. Hedgehog sat and wept and wept and wept some more, but crying would not bring Muddy back. She knew what she needed to do. Hedgehog stood up and stared a lot along the long river at a hard reflection in the water, in the murky river She took a deep breath, jumped in, and set off a journey to find her dear friend. She was a good swimmer. She could swim all the strokes, including the backstroke, which was her friend. Hedgehog made it safely to the mainland. When the forest began, she watched. When the forest began, she watched. Wait, what? Okay, it's bad camera, but whatever. She had watched the wind carry Muddy in this direction, and she hopped. She and she hopped. Hope. Oh, she hoped. Oh. <sighs> and she hoped she would find him here, safe among the trees. Hedgehog seen the forest from her island, but it was much, even greater, much more. It was even greater and much more frightening. Now that she was standing, an army of trees below swayed and cast their scary shadows over her, but she would not show her fear. Hedgehog stood up tall and marched. Wait, what? Did I just and marched along, calling Winnie's name wherever she heard a sound, whenever she heard a sound. She marched and marched, called and called again, but not a muddy in sight in this big four in this big place. Hedgehog felt smaller than ever before. She missed her tiny island, but she had to keep going. She searched under ferns and clusters of mushrooms. She climbed onto a stump to get a better view. What happens? The most things in the forest reminded her of her friend. But passing the butterfly made her the saddest of all. I was, it was beginning to get dark, and still there was no sight of money. I took a scout. Oft a safe place to rest until she continued her search in the morning. She had just found a nice place of cozy pile of leaves when down, down, down into a hole she plunged. Mole. Who is Mole? Let's figure it out. Splash. Splash. Hedgehog landed in a big pile of mud. Mud. I don't know. Water. Okay. When her eyes adjusted to the dark, she realized she was not alone. Good heavens. Shrieked a voice. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, let's go. A stranger, 
pitcher and gasped and shot out of the mud. She was standing face to face, the most wiggly creature she had ever seen. Who are you? Oh, bonjour, dearie, said the voice. Hello there. My name is Mo. Welcome to my home. Mo wiggled closer to it. Are you okay? Are you lost? Hedgehog tried to respond, but Mole's air apron captured her attention. The strippy pattern blurred in Hedgehog's teary eyes, and she collapsed in the puddle into a puddle of sadness. She was too sad to even speak. There, there, my dearie. It'll be okay. I lost my best friend, she whimpered. I am sorry. I'm so sorry. Mole patted Hedgehog on the back. I'll help you find your friend. Mole brought Hedgehog a cup of horchata, horchata, her favorite milky drink. Oh, I guess it's just milk. And two sat side by side in silence. After a while, Hedgehog was ready to, to tell Mo what happened to poor Muddy about the whistle and her long, hard journey traveling across the river, through the trees. I've never been without Muddy, and he's never been without me. Okay, so we're going to pause here for today, and tomorrow we're going to come back on, and we're going to finish reading this book some more. And then once we're just going to be doing a couple of days, a few pages, because we went past a few pages. And we have so much more to discover in this book, so much more pages. Look at this again. Look at all of this this is all what we have left and you know we only accomplished this much today so we have a long way to go let's continue that in a tomorrow's episode of reading okay thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye and I go go classroom description. Bye guys. See ya. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's gonna be tomorrow. <laughs>